You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We are also not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In, in what places? High places. Now, the writer's trying to let you know something. This forces that would dare come against your leader. My God, I want you to minister to them. Yeah, oh, God will understand yeah. in perfect clarity yeah. that they should go no further yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We draw a line right now. Yeah. Call it contrary spirit. Yeah. They have no patience to them. Lucy, give me him. Let us receive words from Prophet H. Walker. You see the church? Now, uh, I thought I wanted to share. It's found in Ephesians, uh, chapter 6, verse 12. And uh, just give me a few minutes to share this, I thought, with you. And also, I want to thank God for uh, the sacrifices yet coming in. Somebody loves truth. Somebody believes in God's prophet. Amen. 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 Marshall family again, donation. Amen. Brother Diamond, donation. Amen. Uh, Daughter Promise, donation. Amen. Brother Kenya, a $50 donation. Amen. My brother from up in Detroit, $80 donation. And uh, our dear sister in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, amen, I think she said a $100 donation. Amen. $100 donation. Amen. Again, uh, the Galantine family, a real heavy envelope here. Amen. Seven hundred dollars. Amen. We are again able to accomplish uh, what we have accomplished because the people have a mind to work. Amen. Again in Ephesians uh, chapter 6, uh, take note in verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now again, we, we are faced, and we're going to go down in fervent prayer at midnight tonight. Amen. Uh, and we're going to ask God to intervene and step into this situation. Yes. And bind that one demon spirit. That's right, Father. That's holding up that permit. Amen. Hallelujah. No reason for it. Simply, uh, they are hiding behind technicalities of the law. So, whatever it is, amen, God's going to get the communication amen. right. Amen. Now, I believe in the power of prayer. Amen. Because I've seen God work. But what you have to understand is a scripture text 
we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, yes. against rulers. Of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. And in what places? High places. Now, the writer is trying to let you know something. This is not simply uh, ringing around the rosy. Amen. We are fighting a devil who has power on this earth. Now, this power was given him by God Almighty so that the church could understand, y'all listen to me now, Amen. the church could understand that you yourself can't do nothing against this spiritual power, but it takes God to overcome the adversary. Amen. But if you ain't got a relationship with God, where's your victory? This is why I've tried to tell you often, stay together in one unit. Amen. Stay together and learn how to pray together. Come to church together in one accord. Yes. One can put a thousand to flight, yes. but two can put, what? 10,000 to flight. Amen. Well, we got more than two. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what we have to understand, brothers and sisters, when I keep telling you, buying that spirit of confusion, yes. Yes. strife, yeah. It causes a disharmony. Yeah. So when a prayer goes up, it's divided and scattered and not in one accord where it can go. You know, you know why a tornado is so powerful? Mm -hmm. Because that wind is concentrated mm -hmm. into that one funnel cloud. Yes. Right. Now once the atmosphere is able to intervene, uh -huh. then the funnel cloud dissipates yep. and there's no power. There's no suction power. There's no, the, the power is in the suction that actually explodes. Yes. It comes to a house and the suction is so intense because of the, 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 the rotation yes. of that funnel cloud. It can literally explode a, a school building. That's right. Amen. So I'm saying, if we can just stay together and not let the enemy divide us yes. in no kind of way, then the prayer that goes before the throne room of God goes with power. And it's going to take power to break the yoke of those demons because they sure are going to try everything they can, everything that's possible to keep us, the Lord true like, from accomplishing our goal. But who can be against you if God be for you? So I thank God. Amen. I welcome the struggle. I welcome the fight. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and when I try to admonish you mm -hmm. and Amen. tell you, yes. don't be divided. Amen. Right, right, right. Don't let the devil create problems that shouldn't even be there. Amen. If I correct you, take it with joy and gladness. And, 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 and go forward. Go Hallelujah. on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm trying to hold the, 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 the church yes. together in one viable form. We don't have a whole lot. But it don't take a whole lot. Right. We just shared that. Right, but it does take the unity and harmony yes. of people together in one accord. Amen. And when you have forces that are negative, and then you get two, they feed upon each other and create an adversity among the saints. Amen. I want to deal with this also. Amen. Never let no one talk to you about your church. Amen. Right, yeah. 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 Sometimes y'all 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 not thinking right. You know of uh, someone who used to be here and they said such and such and such. Oh, no, wait a minute. On, wait, wait a minute. I don't want to hear. Amen. And turn around and walk away. Right. You don't sit and listen and listen and listen. Amen. Because when you are attentive and listen to negative things about your church, now it makes me suspect. Yes. Amen. All right, Amen. Amen. Now I learned that a long time ago. If someone has something negative to say about, take it in the natural context. Who across the street is going to come and tell you, you know, uh, uh, your father, he's a nice guy, but I just don't like something about my, oh, wait a minute, you talk, don't talk about my daddy. Uh, what, what, what's wrong with you? Are you in, you go to the people next door, but don't come to me. That's my dad. Glory, hallelujah. 
stand up. Understand. Now, this is simple elementary third or fourth grade. Maybe even second grade. Because you don't come against mama and right. daddy. No, they don't do that. I tell you what, start chugging and be playing. And, and, and little child, uh, don't, don't, don't go be pulling on mama or daddy. Amen. Amen. You have to learn how to be counted. And if you entertain, the Bible says evil communication, what? Corrupts. Corrupts good manner or a holy lifestyle. Yes. So you have to examine yourself. And if you allow this to happen, it's because there's something in you you got to pray out. And if you can't pray it out, fast it out. We don't go on our regular Monday fast anymore because people plan. People fast and lose weight. You don't fast and lose weight. You fast to get spiritual strength. Oh, I'm going on a three day fast. What? Who do you think you're talking to? I done fasted more than all y'all. Amen. Well, church, I came up every first of the month. You fasted two days, not no food, no water, nothing in your mouth. Amen. And then come to prayer. Amen. And if you was playing, you didn't come to that prayer. Because right. it was a consecrated prayer. Yes. Yes. And you'd be too condemned to come to prayer if you didn't fulfill the instruction of the leader. Amen. And my, my, my pastor fasted more than all of us. And his pastor fasted too much sometimes. Sometimes their stomach would be so upset they couldn't even eat for a while. They had to be tempered when they eat. Yeah. And I'm talking about them people used to go on four or five day fast yeah. and go to work. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have air conditioning then. All right, Amen. all right. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to learn how to get strong and not be trapped by the devil's cleverness. Again, we wrestle against spiritual powers in high places. And the only way we want to overcome, we have got to pray together Amen. and stand together and come to church to worship together. Yes. Let's be responsible. Let's act like who we are. Right. And that's the true light. Yes. Maybe you better get me that uh, John 1st chapter, uh, verse 9. Yeah. And then uh, back up into Romans 16, and I'm going to close. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Now, that true light was Jesus. Amen. But Jesus is sitting on his throne in heaven now. But his church, the church of Jesus, is still here. Yes. So therefore, we are the true light. Yes. Now, Romans 16, chapter, yes. jump right in at verse uh, 16. Salute one another with the holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Now it says right here, if somebody's talking about you at church, walk away from them. Amen. 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 And I, on a job site, I wouldn't even make eye contact with them. Amen. Now if you have to do something in the professional area with them, you do it. Because that's your responsibility, that's your job. Mm -hmm. And you do it correctly. But other than that, you walk right past them, and they, they're not even here. Amen. Because you're talking about evil communication. Yes. If, if, if you, you don't have anything good to say about my church, where's my dialogue with you? Where's my conversation with you? You ain't got no conversation. Because they, they, they know what they're doing. They see you with your head covered, and they're going, well, you know, they said such and such, and they said such and such. Yeah, but why are you telling me? Amen. Go tell the person who told you. Right. That, that's what your problem is. It's not with, with me, and I don't want to hear it. And walk away. Yeah. All right, now where am I at? Uh, Romans 17. Uh, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. They don't serve God. They are not interested in the kingdom of God. They're trying to corrupt the church of God. They're trying to discourage you. Amen. And and baby saints, you got an excuse. But people who've been in the church, Amen. goodness, where's where your excuse? Amen, prophet. You ain't got none. All right, read. With their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Yes. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. Obedience, uh-huh. 
I am glad therefore on your behalf, but yet I will have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. Uh -huh. And the God of peace shall bruise safe under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Verse, verse 26. 26. But now 25, 25. Now, now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began. The gospel is a mystery and it takes a prophet or an apostle to rightly divide or open up the understanding of those scriptures. Uh-huh. But now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets according by to the, the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting God according to God's command made known to all nations for everybody the, got to follow in the same order in the same rule and speak the same thing and obey the same principles and develop the same quality of character everybody Amen. there is not going to be any type of divisions if you are strong, then you pick up and encourage the weak sisters and brothers among you. But you don't never try to uh, create a division against someone because possibly they are not as strong as you. Amen. But you don't do no correction. Let the leader do the correction. Amen. That way everything is going to be done decently and in order. Did you finish that? May known to all nations for the obedience of faith. For the obedience of faith. Really, it means obedience of the doctrine. Faith Amen. means doctrine, also means gospel. Amen. But the word obedience means you've got to obey something. Amen. What? The doctrine. Yes. Amen. The gospel. The faith. I thank God for all that has transpired this weekend. Amen. Wonderful time we had yesterday. Amen. And uh, I'm believing and yes. trusting yes. that uh, we're not going to have to wait until no August to open up that church in Atlanta. And if we learn how to pray together, yes. I'm talking about the household of faith yes. now, and learn how to stand together and not carry, you don't carry a burden from this day to the next day and to the next day. That thing will worry you down and break you down. And Do you know a lot of diseases come Amen. from worry, yes. strife, yep. carrying something you can't quite handle. It affects your blood pressure and your blood pressure affects your uh, heart. And Amen. next thing you know, you, you mess around with diabetes and all that kind of... Listen, you don't need to carry none of that type of physical condition when God already claimed your healing right. on the cross. Yeah. Now I walked out to Veteran Hospital in 1972 and they had me half dead. Yeah. I said my car and cried, but I got in the prayer line. Yeah. But I believe the power of prayer. Yeah. If you don't believe the power of prayer, then no sense you get in no prayer line. Amen. No sense in you fasting if you don't believe what you're doing. Amen. God is a spirit, and you've got to get yourself in the spirituality of God in order to realize anything from God. Amen. Talking about it don't mean nothing Amen. if you can't walk by it, Amen. if you can't live by it. Amen. Yes. But it works. God never Amen. fails. Amen. It works. Yes, Amen. But one thing about faith, hallelujah, it'll prove itself. Amen. But when you have confusion, when you got instability, when you got unrest, you, again with that tornado, you, the, uh, the storm uh, chases of those people. What they call those people? Examine the weather. Meteorologists. Yeah. Now they say everything got to be in a perfect condition for that tornado to form. Amen. You got to have cold air meeting hot air, and they got to be counter each other. One mask going this way, and another mask going this way. And then the cloud formation got to be such and such. And then it has to establish a, 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 a counterclockwise rotation. And then all these things got to be just right. And then 
the tornado develops. That's why they can look on the screen sometime and predict a tornado going to develop because they can see the rotation, see the cold air, and it, it, it measure the cold air and the hot air. That's how they can tell. Amen. Point being, everything has to be just right in order to establish. Tornado just don't all of a sudden jump up. All right. Everything got to be in its proper place. Amen. Cloud formation, cold air, hot air. Then the rotation got to connect just right. Yeah. In order for a church to break through spiritual powers. All right. In wicked places, high places, Amen. wicked places, the church of God has got to be able to connect with God and his spirit. Yes. This is why I said there can't be any divisions yes. amongst us. Amen. Amen. I thank God for all that transpired tonight. Amen. Let's be encouraged Amen. and let's be happy. Amen. And let's pray tonight at 12 o'clock midnight and we're going to get the victory in Atlanta, Amen. and I want to say, I don't care how high in government you are, you need to be careful how you come against this little church. Amen. You need to be careful. We ain't done nothing but talk the truth right, and preach the truth and try to live by that truth. Amen. And we're going to use that for a stepping stone and go right on to Washington, D.C. I say to those who are following me, amen, I thank you for your support. Yeah. And I yeah. promise you one thing as I stand here. Your labor is not in vain. Amen. God bless and God protect you yeah. is my fervent prayer to those viewing by YouTube who have purposed in their heart to follow me. I know it's not easy to follow a prophet who's teaching the whole truth. Amen. Anybody can follow a T.D. Jakes. Right. Lord Dollar. Anybody can do that. But to follow someone who's standing up for the Bible, it costs something. It'll cost family members. It'll cost a position on your job. Amen. But I'd rather have God than be the most popular person in this world. Love Talk Radio.